I made the movie palace because I really like to go to the movies. If I wasn't making this stuff, I'd probably just live in a movie theater. I like sitting in the dark. It's more fun to go with somebody else and sit in the dark with them. Uh, but I like the whole experience of being sort of surrounded by all that stuff. This piece is like a temple in a way. I wanted sort of the grandness, so it has that spire in the back. There are a lot of different finishes and surface treatments on the movie theater. There's some horn and some bone, I think, around the top. There's a lot of gilding. It's water gilded, which is sort of a very old process. There's a ticket box in the front. You see those more on the West Coast than you do on the East Coast, but I like that sort of booth thing. Wayne Thiebaud did a painting called Booth Girl, and I sort of used some of his colors, and actually the woman who's the ticket person has his wife's haircut. The people in the audience are just sort of everybody I see in the movies. There's a guy that's looking for his date. He's holding like a giant tub of popcorn and sodas and stuff like that, trying to impress her. And she's in the front row waving, I'm down here, come down here. There are people that are smooching because that's what you do in the movies. And then I got like a pituitary giant that always sits in front of you. So you're constantly trying to look over his shoulder. You know, everybody kind of retreats into like these little private worlds, even though they're in a public space. Maybe it's just because the lights go out or something like that. The biggest challenge in the animated part of the movie palace was King Kong is actually down below in the base and there's a light that flickers on him but it's bounced up onto a mirror that's at an angle. It's actually kind of a weird little projection thing that's happening. So the hardest thing was to figure out how to do all of that stuff. I wanted to make something kind of precious because I have strong feelings for those kind of things. It was a thing about getting away from art being precious. I never liked that idea. I thought, why shouldn't it be precious? Why shouldn't it be something that's taken care of? <laughs>